Tech Chasing. It's when your opponent falls down in Smash Bros, you follow where they move next, and you keep on hitting them. Easy, right? Wrong. It's hard. It's so hard that it's barely within average human reaction times to be able to be fast enough. Even worse, if you are too slow or mispositioned, your opponent will be able to counter hit you. There are ways of training your ability to react to where your opponent moves next. Most commonly, this means learning what the legs look like during the tech animation and then following the corresponding direction. Tools exist such as 20XX and Uncle Punch to help you learn these animations, but these are imperfect methods and often kind of frustrating. So today, I want to talk about this new way of practicing that I've found really interesting. Recently, a code has been released that makes your opponent invisible after a short period of time before they're vulnerable again. Credit, a Discord user named Clown. Watch closely. But what's the point of all this? Well, first, we need to understand that tech chasing is a two-step process. The first part is recognizing which animation is happening. And the second part is pulling the trigger, aka pressing the right direction to follow where your opponent goes next. In Smash, a lot of people mess this up because they spend way too long recognizing what animation it is. And if you recognize too late, that means you're going to act too late, which means you never had a chance of being on time in the first place. To fix this, this mod forces you to not react late to something. Believe it or not, the first five frames of the animation, right before Fox becomes invisible, is actually enough to tell which way your opponent's going to go. By recognizing this animation by the fifth frame, this gives you enough leeway to execute the action time. This is a really powerful way of practicing if you find yourself struggling to react in time, aka almost everyone. Normally, stuff like this is as simple as adding a gecko code, but this one's a little bit more involved, so we'll set this one up together. To do this, we need three things. One, the code that makes the characters invisible. Two, a code to remove the shadows. And three, an ability to fix the camera from moving around. All these are important so you don't practice incorrectly. Smarter people can explain this better than I can, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. So first, you want to make sure you have the Uncle Punch training mod. I have a video here how to get it for free and set up. What we want to do is add two gecko codes to the game. If you don't know how to add gecko codes, I covered it in detail in this video, but basically you want to right click the game from the ROM list, click on properties, click on the gecko tab, click edit config, add these two codes to the text file, and click save. I personally like to restart dolphins to make sure they appear in the list. We'll do that and we go back into the properties and gecko code menu. We want to enable the two codes we just added. When we start the game, you might notice that something is wrong and we got an error saying that we ran out of memory and to disable some codes. This means we'll have to do something creative. Let's go back into that Gecko tab in Properties and we'll uncheck Apply Delay to All In-Game Scenes. This delay is actually really important, but we can compensate it by launching the game in the Netplay window. Let's right click, click Hosted Netplay, and make sure the buffer is set to 8, at least for 120Hz screens, and start emulation. This adds back the delay we just disabled while still letting us use all of our codes. Let's go into training mode, and as you can see, the codes are working, and now you can train reacting to the right moment during a tech chase. However, there's one last step, because in theory, you could just be following where the camera is moving, which I've been told is a bad habit. So from the main menu, we want to go into training lab, start menu, general, and camera mode. We can set it to fixed, but it's kind of zoomed out in my opinion. So if we set it to advanced, we can hold Y and press forward on the gray stick to zoom in. And then we can hold A down and press down on the gray stick to lower the camera. And now, we're finally all set up. Let me know what you think and make sure to leave a comment if you liked it. Or if you didn't like it. I don't care. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think I care a little bit. I care a little bit. <laughs>